Jesus. Pastor Jesus is reliable, capable, and available. He is seeing, meeting, and redeeming our needs. He supplies our needs by leading us to a place to thrive in. When a shepherd is leading his sheep, he is always on the alert. He is always watching out for wild animals, rough terrain, and weak sheep who cannot keep up with the rest. Yet a shepherd is always on the offensive. He is always looking for green pastures and quiet waters. He looks for a place in which his sheep can thrive in. A shepherd leads his sheep to green pastures to provide the need of hunger. He leads them to quiet waters to provide the need of thirst. He leads them to a place of rest to meet their spirit's needs. It is a shepherd who supplies every need for his sheep. Pastor Jesus supplies every need for his parishioners. He provides encouragement for the young preacher, places of service for the layperson, and refreshing of the soul for seasoned pastor, pastors. He leads us to our needs. The shepherd leads his sheep to their needs. For the sheep, they probably didn't even realize they were hungry or thirsty until the water and the pasture was before them. But it was still up to each sheep to eat and drink from the shepherd's hand. What need is our shepherd supplying before us today? Maybe today we need the Academy of Preachers. We need a support group to help us overcome the fear of being called. Maybe today we need to be the mentor to a young preacher. Or just maybe we need to receive rest and encouragement for our soul. Jesus has placed the knee right before us today. Will we eat from our shepherd's hand? At this point, if it were up to the sheep, they would never leave this place of nourishment. But the shepherd knows it will soon run dry. The journey must continue. If it were up to me today, I would never leave the festival of young preachers. I would never leave the place of spiritual refreshing. I have the nourishment my soul needs right here in this place. But Pastor Jesus knows that if we stay in the same spiritual place too long, we also will dry up. The green pastures and quiet waters are only pit stops on the road of life. Our shepherd has something much greater and better in store for us. We must continue to follow him on the journey. A shepherd not only meets the need of his sheep, he also leads them on the path. And in verse 3, paths mean well-worn paths or ruts. A shepherd does not attempt to, attra- to travel along a new trail. The risk of his sheep going astray is too great. Instead, his shepherd, the shepherd leads his sheep down a well-worn path. The path of righteousness. He leads his sheep in the right direction. All the sheep have to do is follow in the footsteps of their shepherd. Pastor Jesus wants to lead each one of our lives. He is walking before us, leading us in the right direction that we should go. All we must do is follow in his footsteps. To the young preacher that is second guessing your call, Jesus is leading you. Follow his footsteps. Yeah. Young person who doesn't know what to do in life, Jesus is leading you. Follow Him. Way people who feel unused and unappreciated, without a purpose, Jesus has one for you. Take a step in His direction. Seasoned pastor searching for a vision again, Jesus has already seen it. Take a step in His presence. Each step the sheep takes is a step of faith. They have no idea where they are going. They simply have to trust their shepherd. With each step we take, it is a step of faith. We have no idea where we are going. We must trust our shepherd. He is leading us in the right direction, the path of righteousness. The path that Jesus has already walked over 2,000 years ago. The footprints are before us. Will we walk where Jesus walked? The path of a good shepherd is a path leading to the mountains. There comes a time each year that the pasture is left bare and the shepherd must seek new fields. The good shepherd will lead his sheep to the rich hillside grass of a mountain. Not every shepherd would take the risk. Not every shepherd would make the journey, but the good shepherd does. 
He knows what waits on that mountain. But in order to get there, he has to take his sheep through the valley. Every mountain has its valley. Every mountain has steep sides with rough ravines to travel on. The best way to get to the mountain is to go through the valleys. Mm -hmm. For the good shepherd, he knows the journey is well worth it. And our shepherd has done the same for us. The earth was full of spiritually dead people. The good shepherd had to seek out new fields. He had to make a way directly to the Father. Not every shepherd would have taken the risk. Not every shepherd would have made the journey. Yet our shepherd did. He knew what was waiting beyond the cross. Mm -hmm. An empty grave to prove our Savior lives. But he had to walk through the valley to get to the mountain. The path has already been traveled. The footprints have already been left. They lead us to the only safe haven and assurance of spiritual blessing in this life. The cross of Jesus Christ. The shepherd was leading his flock to a limitless supply, a place where the sheep could stay in grace forever and ever. The shepherd meets the needs of a sheep. He leads them and finally he blesses them. Pastor Jesus is here to do the same thing for us. As we walk through the valleys of life, the valley of fear and doubt of being called, the valley of Doubting the abilities God has given us. The valley of discouragement and temptation that arise in the pastorate. And the valley of sorrow and grief that we all must go through. He is leading us to the promised land. Young preacher who is here today, may we all follow the call of Jesus. He is leading us to a place of harvest where we can save and sanctify souls. A place to break the chains gone and be set free. A place to minister and change lives through the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Way person, He is leading you to a place of service. A place where you can lead people to Christ. A place where you can nourish these young preachers in their calling. Seasoned pastor, He is leading you to a place to continue to minister. He is leading you to a place to heal the brokenhearted, to bind up the captives, to bring peace to the troubled, rest to the weary, hope to the hopeless. He is leading each of us into life everlasting. If it were not for the shepherd, the sheep never would have left the green pastures and quiet waters. And, but because the shepherd led his sheep, they got to stay in his presence forever. Jesus brings us to those places of spiritual nourishment, but we must continue to follow Him. He is leading us to a place that we may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. But until then, He has set the example. Pastor Jesus has ministered to thousands upon thousands of people. He has performed miracle upon miracle, healed so many people, and He has left the footprints for us to follow in. Pastor Jesus is speaking today. We, we once again answer that call. Let us pray. Gentle Shepherd, come and lead us, for we need you to help us find our way. Gentle Shepherd, come and feed us, for we need your strength from day to day. There is no other we can turn to who can help us face another day. Gentle Shepherd, come and lead us.